Hello gamers, welcome to Two Side Times video and today we are back with the latest addition to the Iron Jaw Army. So gamers, I don't know if you remember from our last video about the Iron Jaws, but we, me and Steve set a challenge to paint a unit of Ard Boys this month. And there's been uh, some great success and some dismal failure. The success on Steve's part and the dismal failure on mine. First of all, let's talk about our success. We're going to put a picture up here of Steve's lovely Art Boys unit here. And he's done a cracking job on these guys. Matching the scheme of his war channel. These guys look absolutely brutal. Lovely uh, dark metal armor with red highlights. Well, red highlight, red, red spot colors on different plates and on the weapons. And the banner. The banner spells out the war boss's name in all glyphs. Steve is choosing me of this. He's done his research. He's looked through an old second edition Warhammer 40,000 Orc Space Orc book. And uh, that's where he's got that from. But anyway, these guys look absolutely cracking. He's put a few little um, spots off the yellow and red check, the same as he did on his War Channel. And it just looks really cool. The bases, again, he's gone for this the ruined city as if the orcs are ransacking it and it works really well these are forces of destruction after all and that's what orcs do orcs or rooks do they destroy things of force nature they come they destroy things very absolutely lovely lovely painted model steve's done a cracking job of them and he's got every right to be proud of them really 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 good there that's the success done and it's really good success. And now we're going to talk about my dismal, dismal failure. Let's show you. Here we go. This is an orc art boy I have started to paint. And okay, I'm going to say this and I, don't, I hope you all agree. And I hope this might help people who are struggling with painting sometimes. When we paint models, it's art. Yeah. Painting models is an art form. And like all art, it comes from your heart, it's passion. And, oh God, I could not paint these models. There's just something about them just absolutely killed my painting. Passion, I spent about two weeks and I got five into this stage. Yeah, here we go. Absolutely, I mean, this one's not even glued a basic blue tacked on. Um, yeah, these guys, five to the stage. And I just couldn't, could not face painting these models. I spent nights looking at them. I just tried to paint some, just couldn't get any done. I don't know whether it's because of the age of the models. These are fairly old now, probably about 10 years old. And you can tell, I mean, the legs, stumpy little legs. Why, why are all these arcs like bow legged, got rickets or something? Um, and the this this I'm gonna show you. I'll zoom in. Okay. The chainmail that goes between the legs. Okay, it looks alright from my angle. Looks okay from my angle. What the hell is going on the sides here? It's got no sculpting on, it's got no texture. Ah, uh, just it's so so goddamn oh I couldn't face these models can't face them. Just terrible. I mean and oh, the bellies, what's going on? The bellies look like Teletubbies, like aggressive Teletubbies. Oh, Teletubbies, la la. I just I could not. Yeah, I spent about three weeks with these to get to this stage on five models. Um, absolutely killed my paint passion for a long, for like three weeks. Just ugh, couldn't face them. I mean, I even did a few head a head swap, but Blood Bowl Orc, I don't know, which looks all right. And 10 years ago, these would have been great. But when you look at the modern sculpting or models, I mean, look, we'll look at the War Channel. Okay. <laughs> Scary, primal, bestial avatar of destruction there, isn't it? He's an absolute beast. Looks intimidating. He looks brilliant. Than that, a scary Teletubby. 
Oh, I just couldn't get into him. Steve's done a great job and here's a man. Look, brilliant. Uh, but my passion oh, it's just terrible. I couldn't couldn't face him. I still got five uncut undercoated. Oh I've started the skin on him. Ah, oh, just nothing. Um so yeah, after three weeks of these guys, I needed a break. And it was like, oh, I can't face pain these guys. I do have a plan for the hard boys and hopefully it'll work out well. Um but that's not gonna happen this month. It's now the end last week of March. I'm not gonna get that done this month. So what I did is and this is a bit of advice to anybody who's struggling with painting or anything to be honest, take a break and do something different. Come back to them if you want. But you don't this is a hobby. I love painting, I love playing for models. I'm not getting paid to paint these. <laughs> Nobody's paying me any money. Um so why in God's green earth was I sitting there night after night thinking like looking at these models and despairing. It's not worth it. It's it's not. So these guys are going to one side for now. Future plan. I'll do something with the art boys. Hopefully it'll work out. If not, I'll give those to my daughters and they can have a play of them, paint them, do what they want. And I'll sort something else out. So what I did then is I put those to one side and I decided to paint something else for the Ewoks. Sorry about this, my tripod's broken so it keeps sliding down. Um, yeah, so I decided to paint something else for the Ewok army. Fortunately, I had, I mean, I, I've got the Gorgonus from the Get Started box set. I didn't have time. Uh, I think they're going to take a bit longer than I had time. So I wanted to do something else. Fortunately, I'd picked up a box before Christmas um, for Warcry. I love Warcry, by the best game ever. Um, and it is a unit of Brutes. So I built these up. I painted them. And this unit took two days. Start to finish. Five models. Beautiful models. Took me two days to paint. Considering three weeks to get to this stage, I managed to get the Orc Brutes done in two days. So let's have a look at them. So here we have the Orc Brutes. These guys are beautiful, beautiful, lovely models. As I've said, said earlier, art is about passion. And the, I flew through these guys two days. Absolutely flew through them. Just these were a joy to paint. I'm gonna bring them forward. I'll we'll bring up the first one. Really, really nice model to zoom in. I'll focus it. There you go. And he's got Pegleg. Hey, he's a pirate. But no, absolutely brilliant models. The, the so nice. The armor is brilliant. The fact that it's been beat the beat it so it fits. It's just brilliant. Compare that to her. The smooth armor fees are for things, but yeah, absolutely lovely models. These look brutal, they look scary. These look what our how orcs should be absolutely crap. We're not actually much bigger, I thought they were going to be huge compared to an art boy. Don't bring up an art boy, but if you didn't have one bit on the rock, because all my boots got all this armor is probably going to end up on a hero rocks, if you didn't have one rock, be the same size, but they look so much better now. Like, just look at that, look at that. Which one looks scary, intimidating, and a living weapon of destruction? Is it the Teletubby, or is it this guy? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There you go. Absolutely great model. I've got another one with two choppers here. I don't know what the weapons do. I think the choppers give extra attacks, and the other weapons give extra range or extra strength or damage. But they just look brutal. The plan is to have another unit of these guys, so I'll probably make so I can have one unit of each weapon. But yeah, if it just look brutal. I've done a bit of chipping damage on. Just a bit of sponging on, just on the edges on some bits. I put blood on the swords because they're the rocks and the kill things. Yeah, really, really lovely models. I try to keep natural colours apart from the armour. So browns on everything apart from the armour to make that stand out even more. Um, I'll bring up this guy with his big, massive blade thingy I don't know what it's called yeah really really lovely model I've gone for to match my war chanter the scrubby sort of base on mountainside two different types of tufts there just to make it look a bit more natural yeah 
really, really nice. He's even got blood on his dagger there to be in use there to stab things. This big sword hasn't killed, but yeah, absolutely crack model. Looks so, so scary. Bit of advice to anybody who's playing these guys. Do, I mean, this guy I did rep him separately, but the chest piece, paint that separately, paint it off skin, do everything else, paint that separately and just stick it on at the end. It looks, it works really, really well. Otherwise, you're going to have a bit of, a bit of a pain just getting into the cracks there. Just paint it separately, nice and easy. But yeah, really, really love the models. Let's have a look at the spear. I love the spear. There we go. Absolutely great model. I mean, this guy looks a bit thoughtful for an orc. Still intimidating scary, but a little bit more thoughtful. He's cunning and cruel. There we go. Really, really lovely. And finally, the big boss with his massive, massive scary mace there that he's been using the club swings to death and his not quite power fist fist there. I don't know what it's called, but looks really, really cool. Put a bit, bit of blood in the inside. He's squished somebody's head off there. Absolutely lovely, lovely models. I haven't put all the shoulder pads on them, just a bit of variety. But yeah, I think I, I was just saying these guys flew. Got these painted so quickly compared to the hard boys. And I'm really happy how these guys have turned out. There we go, focus backing on them. Oh, sorry, my phone slipped again. Damn tripod. But anyway, so yeah, that's the brutes. I'll put the war tent on here, and he's got his lads to boss around. And they look really cool, put them all together. I'm going to look absolutely epic on the battlefield. So the next, what's for the next challenge? Well, the next challenge is going to be the Gorg Hunters. I'm really excited to paint these guys. They match the iron brute, the um, brutes aesthetic there. I think they'll look absolutely epic. And then that's going to be, we don't know what we're going to do after that. Um, we'll have to think of the next uh, unit to add to the army. Um, we've revised the list. Hopefully we'll uh, get back to, we'll get the we'll revised list to you next, for the next challenge to see where we're going. But yeah, next one's going to be Gorgunners. Add a bit of shock cavalry to this small growing army and it's going to look absolutely brilliant. I'm so looking forward to seeing what Steve does with his. And I'm looking forward to getting mine painted as well. So I hope you like these guys and I hope you like Steve's art boys. Please drop us a like down below and let us know what you think of these models. If you, yeah, I know it's been a bit rambling in this video, but hopefully maybe a bit of help to you guys who struggle with a bit of a painter's block as I've just done this month. Anyway, till the next one, please take care of yourselves and keep all the sixes.